Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the Clipper Fool, and we are back with William Wallace's learning campaign in Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Today we'll be playing Forge and Alliance on hard mode, which I'm sure will be extremely difficult. Our coffers difficult. were depleted at the Battle of Stirling. So we need to strengthen our economy once again before pushing south into lands held by the English. We need to construct a market and establish trade routes to the villages of friendly clans. Local legends speak of three sacred relics hidden south of Stirling. Acquiring these artifacts for Wallace's army will be a great boost to Scottish morale. Boost. That's very interesting. I've never heard that word pronounced that way. I took some linguistic classes in college, which is which I, I, I thought linguistics was super, super interesting. I'm more interested in like the trees and stuff like that. Like the, uh, less the, less interested in the process of forming the sound itself, but more rather, uh, the way that the languages are actually constructed, because I actually studied computer science in university. Anyway, our main objectives are to capture three relics and garrison them inside our monastery. The hints are, if we lose our initial monks, we could train more from our monastery when we reach the castle age. And our scouts report that the Scots, which is me, are mounting a defense against the English and aim to capture all the relics in the region to boost the morale of their men. The first relic is in the Scottish town itself. Now our Scottish allies have a walled town to the west, holding the second relic. They will provide support and fight with their fellow countrymen against the English invaders. And last but not least, the dreaded English have a strong base across the river to the southwest and have taken the third and final relic. Alright, very nice. The Scottish Ooh. army has been rallied by recent Drapa. victories against the English. The situation is starting to look Drapa. up. It will help the morale of our army to collect holy relics and place them in our monastery. One of the relics is close Drapa. to your town. An ally Drapa. has another Drapa. relic, and the English have captured a third. You can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk and right-clicking the relic. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers or those of your allies. They can also attempt to convert enemy soldiers to join your army. Sheep. Kid out, out. Toe. Toe. Good. Oh the my relic. god, chaining those commands is so nice. By right now I won't have monster. to worry about having to uh, retask re my monk back. I can just do it all in one go. Perfect. That is incredibly nice. You now have nice. one relic garrisoned. Relics garrisoned in your monastery will slowly add gold to your stockpile. I don't know if researching text used to be bound to hotkeys either. That might be a new feature as well. I'm not entirely sure. This is what I mean by exploring the map though, right? With two scouts, I've basically explored everything on, on my side of the river. This side is the English side. I already know how the map looks like because I played the tutorial before. Um, but it just goes to show the importance and value of scouting. Being able to zoom out is much, much, is very, very nice as well. 29 Farms are a good source of food once you have exhausted forage bushes and animals. Farms are built like buildings and must be periodically rebuilt. To gather food from a farm, click a villager, then right click a farm. Okay. I already did that, but sure. Here's our it's nice scout to have here. allies on the map. Your ally, the yellow player, can help you fight the enemy. You can also trade with your allies. To trade, you will need to build a market. Do I really care about building a market right now? That's the question. Also interesting is that I didn't see those sheep there on the mini map. Like, they were in the fog of war, it didn't. Normally, it shows like grayed out sheep, but I just straight up just didn't see them there at all. I wonder if that's intentional. Oops. Didn't mean to open up the options. Let's accept my one, two. Can I not get in here? Hello? 
You have reached your ally's town. Go inside to see how his city is doing. Your ally's gate will open automatically for you. Uh, two idols. Four building houses. Let's go ahead and build our market in the bottom right corner here. Right there. Can I seriously not go inside? Is this locked? Hello? Or is the pathfinding just that far off? If you've come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. Kia. Oh. Right. Oh. Bid fear. Oh. Let's find that relic. <clears throat> We should Hello. also consider building a dock to get at that juicy, 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 juicy fish. Kia. Let's Toe. do the trick Toe. with queuing commands. That's so good. I'm just gonna watch to see if that works. That's so nice. That works. And being able to zoom in and out. Did is you know really that nice there are three well. different modes for the mini map in the lower right corner of the screen? You can show only military units, or only resources, and trade units by clicking the buttons just below and to the right of the mini-map. You have a market. The market can Market's create all. trade carts to generate oh. extra gold. You can also exchange one resource for another at the market for a small fee. Click the market, then click sell food for gold. Kia. Why would I sell food for gold? Fine, I'll do it. Airlock. The things I do for gameplay. Kid. I'm gonna have to get used to the new hockey scheme. So he picked it up and he's on his way back. Yes! That's so nice. Let's build ourselves a dock right here. And actually, after we build this dock, can you go back to wood? Villagers and soldiers normally appear outside of the building that created them. You can have your units move to a spot once they are created by using gather points. To set a gather point for infantry, click your barracks, click set gather point, then click where on the map you want your infantry to gather. Okay, let's advance castle age. And don't forget, keep exploring the map. Did I lose my my second scout? Where did my second scout go? I could have sworn I had a, a control group set for my second scout. Where is he? Did he die? When did my scout die? Is that him? No. You can use the technology tree to see what technologies and upgrades you can research. Click the technology tree button in the upper right corner of the screen to see the tree for your civilization. The English are attacking our town. Can you tribute any spare food or gold to us? To tribute your ally, click the diplomacy button in the upper right corner of the screen. Give your ally food. Wait, no, 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 we let him finish talking, we let him finish Don't talking. Don't give him everything, you own. You now have two relics garrisoned. Bring right. back one more, and you will be victor. Uh, give him at least a hundred gold, right? Oh, yes. Let's do it. Thanks for the resources. If you have any spare soldiers, come to our town, and let's drive the English out. Bargain. Call. Call. Bid fear. Call. Bid fear. Kid, tall, Kid, tall. Bid fear, tall, Bid fear. I guess I just lost my second scout. Or did I delete him? I don't know. I actually don't know where he went. Bargain, fear. Tall, Bid fear. Kid? Oh. 
Oh, they're in. Someone let them in. Yo, this is actually kind of interesting. Kia. Convert him, convert him, convert him. Nice. Easy. You got a free knight. Okay, now to win this, we basically just build a castle. And he. He should. He should have. Hello? No, 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 no. Alright, that's the order. So I think what happens is if you. Tax him to a resource in a building, he'll actually try to get the whole resource in. Um, instead of just collecting 10 and going. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, I guess our, our other scout, maybe I deleted him by accident? Who knows. Kid ho. Cart ho. Cart ho. Okay, so deleting the building while you're still building it triggers the whole animation. That's somewhat disappointing. Uh, I was hoping it would just like cancel itself. I guess it does make sense though. Because it used to be the same it used to be the same exact animation. So I guess in code they just substitute a new graphic without substituting like, market, the actual variable. Your trade cart will automatically make trips between your and your allies' markets. Mm -hmm. This one's worth 29 gold. Not bad, not bad. Okay, you're on house building. We need a new set of sub suburbs. Have fun, buddy. Kia, kid to. Research this. Build four farms. Very good. Let's go for hand cart. None of this is really necessary. The most important thing is we get enough stone. Enough stone to build ourselves a castle. Wait a second. Are they not allowing us to build a castle? Oh, they are not allowing us to build a castle. I'm in Castle Age. I can't build a castle. Well, that sucks. Uh, all right. That, if that's the case, then we'll go ahead and just build a siege workshop. And we'll build... Do I have a stable? I do have a stable. Start building some knights then. That's very interesting. Normally they do let you build uh, siege workshops and whatnot here, or er, castles here. So not being able to build one now is actually kind of annoying. Let's put more people on wood. Research Bosaw as soon as we can. Or er, this is not Bosaw, this is, oh this is Bosaw. There's a uh, double bit axe. That's the first one. And then there's Bosa. And then there's what's the last one? I don't remember. I think it's called Two Man Saw, right? Let's check the tech, the tech tree. No, not this. Objectives, chat. You have enough soldiers now to think about attacking the English and recovering the relic. Nice. Hmm. 
Hmm, even that all the icons are updated in terms of art as well. I really like that. It's called two man saw, but Celts don't get it because they have better lumberjacks anyway. Kia, kid, cold. Well, if I had known that I wasn't gonna be able to uh Build the castle. I wouldn't have bothered mining all that stone. In fact, let's go ahead and just sell that. If you're getting ready to attack the English, I can help you out. Here, take this food and wood. Thanks, friend. Much appreciated. Militia. Okay, I thought I was like spear. So this, this is a new tech here, with supplies. I was just thinking, if the spear line also costs 15 less food, they'd become, like, the cheapest trash unit in the West. Alright, let's have... Let's upgrade to crossbowmen here. In the meantime, let's train a few knights. Um, let's research arson. We got plenty of food and wood anyway. Build a couple more rams, lowest on wood. So the fact that he gave us wood is actually real nice. Right, we'll go ahead, research man at arms, and create five more militia. All our military buildings are working. We have 31 villagers. Any idols? We only have one on gold. Oh, it's because we actually have no one mining gold. Interesting. So actually. Let's put you on gold here. The advantages of scouting! Meanwhile, our boy here is still building up uh, a suburban area. I wonder if we can go past 75 now. So this first one describes the group. No. What? Is this a glitch? It's it's saying six crossbowmen. If I select all these guys, it's... I don't understand. It's 12 units total, I guess. Five crossbows, one knight. Five plus one plus four plus one. Yeah, it's 12. No, 6. 6 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1. Interesting. I don't know if that's intentional there. And I don't think building extra houses here is going to... Accelerate me past 75 max space anymore, so there's no real point. Uh, I truthfully think that we could just go ahead and make a go at it. Let's just research our two extra techs here, and I think we should be good to go, honestly. Let's just continue to train some more units, and send them over in this direction, and we should be more than good to go. Let's see if we can bait him out. Yes, we can. Convert, convert, convert! Come on! Yeah! That's right! We've converted to our religion now! Yeah, shouldn't really stand a chance, honestly. We've reached our pop cap, sadly. So really, there's not much more to do besides uh, recover the relic at this point. I've always found it a bit weird that stone can catch on fire. Don't forget, keep 
exploring the map. Did our scout die? What? We had two scouts. I guess he really did die. I didn't even see where he died. He was a bad man. Okay, let's see if we can research fervor to make everything go a little faster. We're really mostly just interested in fighting, finding where the relic is. I'm pretty sure it's down in the bottom right here. Not sure what I think of the collapse animations right now. I wish they could go a little faster. Yeah, I really do wish they could go a little faster. There's something about like watching the building just immediately disappear into like a pile of rubble that that really gave Age of Empires to its a classic feel way back in the day. I do like the collapse animations, don't get me wrong. But I feel like if I could accelerate them it'd be really nice. Like, if someone made a mod for that, I would totally use it. Accelerated explosion, or accelerated destruction of buildings. Alright, now we just gotta wait for our boy. Our monkey boy to get, get back. Go! Go! Congratulations, you have captured all three relics. Very good. And I think we got free cards though, too. I wonder if cartography is just straight up auto research these days. I don't remember. Okay, let's leave the map. With the three relics locked away safely in Scottish churches, men murmur that we are blessed by the heavens. Our army now stands a chance as we prepare for the final clash with the English. Scotland now has archers and knights of her own with which to move options. We march south to Falkirk, where we will join with the army of William Wallace and plan our combined attack upon the English castle. Perfect! We are rapidly closing in on the completion of our first campaign. Now, granted, it's the tutorial campaign, so it's very easy. This is uh, Clover Fool signing out. Thank you guys for watching.